In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress post. And to do that, we need to log into the dashboard area, which I've already done. And if you've never done this before, then up here in the browser's address bar, you want to put in the URL to your WordPress installation, followed by a forward slash wp-admin, then hit enter, and you'll be presented with a login box that's going to ask you for your username and your password. Enter that stuff, hit the enter key, logging you into the dashboard. Once here, you want to come on over here to the left and hover over posts, and you'll get this flyout where you can see the all post page, and that's just a list of all the posts that you've already published or have in draft mode or are scheduled to be published in a future date. You can also see and manage the different categories and tags, which are just additional tools to help keep your post organized. And of course, you can add new posts by clicking on, you guessed it, add new. And you can also get to the new post page by hovering over the word new up here in the admin bar and then clicking on post. Now, the first thing you want to do is enter a title to your post. And then you can go on down here and enter the content. And ideally, the title should be keyword rich, and that'll help you when it comes to search engine optimization. And once you enter the title up here and you click outside of that box, WordPress is going to go ahead and generate the URL or the slug to that post. And if at any time in the future, after you've published this post, you want to change that slug, you can do so by just clicking on edit, make the change, click on OK. And once this has been published, this publish button will change to update. And if you want this change to take, just like any other change you make on here after it's been published, come on over here and click on update. Otherwise, that change will not take place. And in the editor window here is where you would enter the content of that post. And you can do that a couple of ways, either by the visual tab, which is kind of like a WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get editor. Or if you'd like to enter your content kind of longhand, then you can do that under the text tab. And you can see that the formatting options are a little more limited, but under visual tab, you can click on the toolbar toggle button here to get additional formatting options. And you can see you're still only limited to just that single row here in the text tab. But these formatting tools may look familiar to you if you've ever worked in a document processing program before like Microsoft Word or OpenOffice, where you can bold text, italicize text, change the text color, and so on. Now, if you wanted to copy and paste content into this editor window from another document that already has the text formatted, like for example, this Word document where I have some text bolded or italicized or a clickable link, then there's a way you can do that. Let me just copy this into my clipboard here. You want to make sure that this formatting tool here that says paste as text does not have a border around it. If it does have a border around it, for example, if I click on that, you'll get this pop out that tells you what's taking place as far as being able to paste formatted content from something like Microsoft Word. Then you want to make sure that that's toggled off because right now it's toggled on with the border around there. And if I paste this in here, none of those formatting options carried through. There, this is not a clickable link. This is not bolded. Now then if we toggle this off just by clicking on that, you can see the border's gone away. And now I'll paste that same content in here again. Now then, that formatting did carry over. And we can see this further by going to the text tab here and seeing the source code here, where it's got the ahref tag and so on. And if you wanted to add images or videos or audio files to your post, then you can do that by using the add media button right up here and just put the cursor wherever you want that media to be added to, like for example, an image, and then click on add media. And you can select media that's already in the library. You can go to upload files and upload media from your computer by clicking on select files or just drag it and drop it here. Or you can even add it by inserting it from a URL. But if we're going to add one of these images, all you have to do is just click on it and you get the check mark. You can make a few little edits over here to the right and then click on insert into post. And there it is. Now, if we come on up here to the very top right, We've got this option here for screen options. If we hit that drop down, you can see that we've got some modules that can be shown in our editor page by checking or unchecking the boxes. For example, the featured image, that's this module down here at the bottom, tags and categories. If we were to uncheck all of these, then they're not there anymore. Likewise with format, it's gone as well. So all we have now is the published module. But if you want those, 
make sure those are checked. Likewise with any of these other options here. Like if you wanted to be able to toggle on or off to allow people to make comments on this post, make sure that box titled discussion is checked. Then below the text editor window, you now have the discussion module. And you can also edit the screen layout. By default, you've got two columns. If you wanted just one column, then those items that were over here on the right are now at the bottom below the editor window. And a very cool feature is this box by default is checked that enables full height editor and distraction free functionality. And what that means is the editor window here does not have a fixed height. In other words, no matter how much content you put in here, you're not going to get a scroll bar. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and untick that. And you can see the scroll bar here because it now has a set height. So that's the full height editor. Another element of the distraction free functionality is this button right here, right below the text tab. If we click on that, the two sidebars are going to disappear. And if you want them back temporarily, just move the mouse outside of the editor area and there they are. And if you want them to go away again while this is toggled on, then just put your cursor anywhere in the editor window, hit enter, and there they go. Let's go ahead and toggle this off. And let's go ahead and close up the screen options. And to the right of the screen options, we have a help tab that is specific to the post editor page. So if you have any questions that are unanswered by this video, then you've got some help waiting for you right here. And while we're over here on the right, you've got the publish module right here where you have different elements that you can either publish it right away. You can schedule the publishing to be at a later date by changing this date, clicking on OK, and that publish button changes to schedule. Let's go ahead and move that back. You can also change the default public visibility by clicking on edit and changing that to private so that only people that have this URL will be able to see this post or you can make it password protected and a very cool feature you can make it stick in other words on the post page right here you can make that post stick right at the very top so all future posts will fall below that one because by default all new posts are at the top of this post page but if you use the stick feature then it's going to stick to the top and whatever changes you make here just be sure to click on ok you also have the preview button where you can see how your post is going to look in the browser before you actually publish it to the world and if you really just don't like what you've created you can always move it to the trash bin and you've got the format module depending upon the theme that you're using will depend on which or how many post formats are being shown here and by default, standard is the one that's checked in this theme anyway. Then again, you've got the categories and tags, which as I mentioned earlier, will simply help keep this post organized. And you got the featured image module down here where you can set a featured image for this particular post. And when you're ready, go ahead and click on publish and your post is ready to be seen by the world. And you also have this get short link button. If we click on that, you can see that you're presented with a much shorter link than the default URL here. And that's it. That's going to bring us to the end of this video on the WordPress post and how to create one. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.